All right, so in this story, uh, we go back to the hurricane issue that we've been following over the past several days. And it has really been such a big story, and loss of life is more extensive than people thought. At least 15 people are dead. Hundreds of people are still stranded out there from Hurricane Matthew. Almost half of the victims are in North Carolina, where the storm hit later, obviously, in its track. But these people and their situation cannot be forgotten. Major relief efforts are underway in Florida, in South Carolina, in North Carolina as well as the post-tropical cyclone now makes its way out to sea. Jonathan Sari is live in Charleston, South Carolina. How are things look going there, Jonathan? Martha, what you see behind me is an example of the localized flooding that you'll see in some of the lower lying areas of Charleston. This block of Ashley Avenue, still a little too deep to drive safely, but they have opened up traffic over here on Broad Street. It is flowing freely, albeit a little slower than usual. People not wanting to take any chances. Uh, earlier today, we sent up a drone to give you a shot of this neighborhood, an aerial perspective of the surrounding area. Because of Charleston's low elevation. The city has always been prone to flooding, even during minor storms. Hurricane Matthew produced a powerful storm surge in Charleston Harbor, the highest surge the harbor has seen since Hurricane Hugo back in 1989. Now that the sun's back out, the floodwaters are quickly receding, but state officials warn returning residents not to drive through deep standing water. The state counted its first storm-related fatality after a car was swept away while trying to cross a flooded roadway. We cannot stress enough if you see water on the roads, understand you, we don't know if there's power lines under there. We don't know whether that the road has fallen underneath. We don't know if it's going to sweep you away and you're not going to be able to get out. But please, please, please take caution. And Governor Haley says statewide, more than 750,000 South Carolina customers remain without power. Martha? All right, Jonathan, thank you very much.